So throughout our life, something is always pulling us for wholeness. That's what Jung would say. You know, we are, hmm. uh, what's the word? We are motivated to be whole. And yeah. so you can't just be whole when you're 22 because you're, you're putting the pieces together like a puzzle. And when you're 55 and 65, you've got other puzzle pieces that you got to put together. And, you know, at 65, I think it's the same thing. You know, it's, but it's always a combination of what are your economics? Because there's, there's a reality here. You right, know, if, right. you have, if you're more stable economically, you can take more chances, you know, and you can go out on a limb. Um, it's interesting when I first quit, my, when, I, when I quit my job a second time. So I've quit my Myers-Briggs job twice. When I quit it the second time, I was 57. And the whole, I was there for 12 years solid in that second chapter of Myers-Briggs. And the whole time I was looking for, when am I going to leave? At the same time, I love my job. So there was no question that I love training Myers-Briggs. I thought it was the ultimate job. I still think it's the ultimate job. But the whole, every single day I said, okay, universe, whatever is there, make it clear when I'm supposed yeah. to go. And I knew I wasn't supposed to go until it was crystal clear. And crystal clear for me was financial stability. That I, I didn't want to do it again without knowing I had, that I wasn't jumping ship, you know, that mm -hmm. I wasn't just like jumping off and um, without stability financially. And that's what I had. So I didn't, I, so I'm not rich. However, I had enough to pay my mortgage and my, pay my yeah. bills. Uh, for a long time. Uh, and then I could focus completely on my art and just work minimally, you know, very little yeah. bit uh, doing consulting for the Myers-Briggs. 